so today we're gonna go out for a walk in Dover. I I've been living here for the last five years, and I think it's a wonderful town city, however you wanna call it. It's small, compact. You have everything you need, close, and yeah, we'll go for a walk. Let's see what Dover has to offer. But first, we have to tell Kiri that we're going out. We're going out. I'll be back soon. I'll be back soon. I promise. Like 10 minutes from now, I'll be home. Okay? Half an hour. Half an hour. Leave me alone. Half an hour. I kind of managed to escape. So, we're gonna go out. Let's see. Let's see what we can find. I'm actually going back to take something on me because it's quite chilly. I, it's a bit more better now. Just went out from the shower, so I think that's why I felt a bit cold. Just walking on the middle of the street. So I live in a quite nice area of Dover. At least I like to believe I live in a nice area. The main problem what I got in here is that whenever I come home, I cannot park. And especially if I get from work like a van or something really, really big, there's no spaces. Like literally everywhere. We have cars, so at night after 5 or 6 is actually a battle on, on the parking spaces. What I love the most living in Dover is that wherever you live in Dover, I don't think you're gonna be more than 10-15 minutes away from the beach, and that's walking. We do have loads of hills, loads of houses. Yeah. I was thinking it's so nice now and then to just leave your car in the parking space and just go for a walk. You can get connected with the town and everything, see stuff that you wouldn't see them from from inside. The only thing what I don't fancy is I going to shop without without a car because I don't fancy carry all them bags back home. Just going on one of the main roads from here. It's quite busy at points, but behind me, if you can see, there's the castle that you can actually see it from wherever you go, like. I lived in four or five properties so far in Dover and at every single one I could see the castle. Another street. Street. There's a river down there. Really lovely. And in the same time, what I like the most at Dover is that even though it's quite a small town, it's quite diverse. Most of the people I've met, they used to say like Dover is a shithole, you cannot do nothing. I totally disagree with this. The problem, what I find it in Dover, is that there's not really work around here. So the rent is quite cheap in comparison with uh, Folkestone, Ashford, Canterbury. So for the same flat that I'm renting, probably in Folkestone would be 200 pounds more. But I think it's better to live in Dover as it's quiet, quieter than the other ones and just drive to work, even though you're gonna add another half an hour to your day or say one hour tops. I personally drive way more than that, but I still choose to live in Dover. Getting close to one of the uh, places, the complexes where you have Morrison's, Asda, um, and some other shops. There's like two major complexes like this, where you can find the, where you can find stuff. Dubai. I wasn't expecting so much traffic for a Saturday afternoon, but we do get some traffic in here as well. Uh, the the way the city and the streets are done, uh, there's a one-way system. So in case if you messed up an exit or you messed up the place where you have to go, you'll literally have to drive around in circles until you've managed to, to get to the next point. Like for instance in here, we have three lanes and you cannot go back from here honestly when we're gonna get to the beach we'll see two of the most uh, attractive stuff in uh, in dover and one of them uh, one of them will be the castle from the hills because it's situated so high top you can literally see it from almost every single point of the town there's loads of uh, green around us and uh, this kind of, in my opinion, makes the city smells better, it smells like more cleaner. There's not such mess on on the pavement and uh, 
Yeah. Just realized I took the wrong street. So I actually went further from that complex with Morrison's and that, that place where you can buy loads of stuff. So I cannot show you nothing from the, the scene. You can kind of see what's behind me, how a typical street in here looks like. Quite nice. Dover is more about what has to offer to every single individual. We're looking for a quiet place to live in, but in the same time be close to to the motorways, be close to the shops, be close to everything. I think Dover is a good choice as the rent and the prices in here are quite okay. The downside for, say, for a younger person or something, is that you cannot really have places where to go out. Most of the pubs will close at 11. But uh, there's loads of uh, beer gardens, especially in summer, it's really nice to go at them. Um, you have the beach, quite a few beaches in here, and then the white cliffs of Dover as well. We're gonna try to take a bit of them when we get there. Behind me is the, it's the hospital where I am, where, um, where my doctor is. I literally never been here i've been only two times once i've been sick like really sick a few months no last year and then with the covid vaccination thank god i think it's really close we got some really nice churches around here i think there's a Rom roman catholic one we'll get there in a sec and i can show it to you guys there's the dover technical college right behind me and I think there's a university as well in town. Don't remember exactly. Yeah, so right behind me, you can see this nice church. I have no idea what, what it's about. St. Paul's, I can see now. And the seagull. Uh, Dover main, main bus station is right here. It's not as big, but it's the bus station, the main one. All the trains, uh, all the buses are leaving from here towards Ashford, Canterbury, I think even London and the train station is not too far the, we do have a river that goes around the town, uh, around the city um, in here and this is St. James Park but I think there's a fair in here so we're gonna just go around it see if we can make any videos of it notice they do them in summer at I don't know once a month or we do have loads of fans in here as you can see so skate park right here used to be like a trading place they had like app stuff and they used to sell it I don't know what happened here but as you can see it's been de demolished when you go in Dover you're gonna find the uh, I don't know if you can see Thomas and Partners what is it yeah there somewhere there Thomas and Partners like, you're gonna see loads of immobiliar agencies it's loads of places like this they make their money like so behind me is the town center that's been uh, They've been working on it from last year, I think, the market square has been just in a constant state of upside. Getting to the second commercial area, the first one, I managed to, to screw it up, like I, I couldn't see, I couldn't, uh, I took the wrong turn, but Costa, actually, absolutely love a good coffee. It's a really nice bar here in Riverside, and I got a bike stolen from here, stolen from me, I parked it there one night and yeah the next morning wasn't there just going through some under passage there with some really nice murals in the wall someone got stabbed here last year a nice place to live nice hot, hot, uh, hotels if you're planning to stay around here and we are literally close to the seafront though it's a border uh, town so right there you'll see the ferries and it is actually the border news, we'll have border security, white clips of Dover as well. Behind me, that building block, I think the rent for a flat is like a thousand pounds for a one bedroom flat. So I went to visit one of them when I moved, and uh, 
it's quite nice you can see the sea and uh, speaking about the sea what do we got here there's a nice bicycle lane around there everyone uses to walk on it even the pedestrians and there's a ferry that's just leaving it's gonna take him like 10 minutes to get through the more big gates Again, there's a very really nice church in here And Dumb seagulls They can, they think they can sit wherever they want Quite, quite nice place in here To chill There's uh, a path that I really like to take it It's behind the Dover University College and it's quite relaxing to come through here as uh, the river side of the town it goes through here there's a really small river and uh, they have some koi fishes in, in it clean as well most of the time just seen something that I'm familiar with what is it? I can drive that. I'm actually tempted to jump on that. <laughs> do have loads of fast food places. We have Domino's, Pronto, some Chinese. Loads of them everywhere. Notice once you get away from the main street, from the beach and the market square, most of the streets are quite, quite empty. You barely see. Another human being, you see a car passing now and then, but there are not a lot of people walking nowadays. We walk back home, as I'm walking back home, just managed to reach the other uh, commercial center that I managed to miss it last time. Part of the river, some birds in here. I don't see no fishes today though. Quite nice. We do have loads of fast food places, we have Domino's, Pronto, some Chinese, loads of them, everywhere. And we do have Asda, Fun Foods in here, but I think the best place where you can do your shoppings, it's Morrison's. Behind me, there's a place, a flat building stuff, they finished it last year. And these apartments, they're quite nice, but they only for over the 70s. So I don't know what's the plan, why they're selling only for the over the 70s. I was actually thinking to take a mortgage in here. But uh, yeah, there's not a lot of really new estates in Dover, only old houses. So if you're planning to buy yourself a house in here, you have to, to look at something that you'll uh, renovate yourself, do work. Most of the houses around here, they kind of need work. I think financially it makes sense because uh, they, don't, they don't go as high. I think the price for a flat, if you want to buy a flat, depend, depending on, on their area, can go everywhere from 60,000 60, pounds if it's like in a really bad, bad way, up to 120. 120, I think, will be the more apartment buildings by the seafront. Heading towards home, as I promised Kiri, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be longer than half an hour. So, hopefully, she ain't gonna be too mad at me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this was all for today. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll try to post a bit more often. Kiri, thank you for uh, thank you for uh, watching, guys.